All right, we are looking at the Matrox Triple Head To Go Digital Edition. This is a tip for anyone who is purchasing one of these or planning on using it. There are two inputs, uh, HD15 or uh, VGA as it's called. There's a dual link DVI and then there's three DVIs out. This is really important. If you want to use this at its max resolution, which would be driving three 1920 by 1080p monitors, if you want to drive three monitors at that resolution, you have to use a dual link DVI cable to connect to your graphics card. And your graphics card has to have a dual link DVI output. Now that's what a dual link DVI cable looks like. A regular, regular DVI cable, this white one looks like that. You can see it's missing those pins in the center. So if you're gonna use this device correctly, you have to have a dual link DVI cable. This is a three footer, it cost me $7. If you don't use this cable, if you connect via VGA, your output resolutions are a lot more limited and probably would have been cool back in 2005, you know, running three 1028 by 768 monitors or something, but they won't uh, cut it nowadays. So be sure you have a dual link DVI cable and you will have to download, I think you have to download the software to get the best performance out of this thing. Okay, one more quick note, which I don't think I made completely clear. You could connect your computer via a regular DVI, a single link, to here, but again, you're not gonna be able to put out the full 1920 by 1080p at each of these monitors. Uh, and in fact, you'll get some weird, I got weird results when I used, uh, when I tried to use just a regular single link DVI. So be sure that you connect your computer to the Triple Head To Go Digital Edition with one of these dual link DVIs. All right, thanks for watching.